Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to pre-populate or populate pre-chat fields in Salesforce Embedded Service Chat. <clears throat> this video is based on Salesforce Embedded Service Deployment um, and it is not for uh, other uh, chat types. Whenever we use Embedded Service uh, Deployment, Salesforce gives us a code snippet. The code snippet will be hosted on a website. Whenever you have the pre-chat information and if you wanted to avoid users entering the same details again whenever they wanted to initiate a chat, then we can make use of embedded underscore svc dot settings dot pre-populated sorry oh yeah pre-populated pre-chat fields. If you set this uh, embedded underscore svc dot settings dot pre populated pre chat fields then those values will be populated in the pre chat form this will avoid user um, in entering the entering their information again um, best example is if we have a portal and if the user is already logged in we we have their first name last name, phone number, email. Instead of asking the users to enter the same information again when the, whenever they initiate a chat, we can avoid that uh, data entry from the visitors by using this embedded underscore svc dot settings dot pre-populated pre-chat fields. In my uh, uh, demo here, I have created a visual for speech with the embedded service code snippet Plus, I have added this particular highlighted code. First name, I am setting it to test. Last name, I am setting it to test. Email, I am setting it to test user at infallibletechie.com. And in the subject, I am setting it as testing case. Let's preview this Visual Force page and let's initiate a chat. By default, in the pre-chat, all these fields should be populated. It is showing chat with expert. First name, last name, email, subject, everything is getting populated from this piece of code. So make use of embedded underscore svc dot settings dot pre populated pre chat fields to auto populate or pre populate pre chat form fields in Salesforce embedded service chat. Please check the video description. I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get this sample code. Use this sample code as a reference and adjust it as per your business requirement. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.